it's Emily. I've done a few videos on mood boards and they seem to consistently be my most popular videos. So I thought I'd share my process for making an actual physical mood board, not just a digital one. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I assemble a physical mood board utilizing colors, fabrics, textures, sketches, photographs, magazine clippings, and then I'm gonna show you how um, I sketch from the mood board using the actual board that I'm building as inspiration. I'm so excited to share this video because I genuinely love assembling mood boards. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the process and I have so many ideas and inspirations that I wanna pull from, so let's get started. So I remember when I was in school for fashion merchandising, the first time we were instructed to make a mood board, I had way too much stuck on my board and it was a little like a collage. So, you know, I had sort of liked what I created, but um, you really need to keep in mind that a mood board does serve a purpose. So it's to communicate what sort of inspiration you're pulling from and to obviously create a mood. So. You know, if it's for yourself, then go crazy, but if you're creating one for your professional portfolio or for your company or your brand, then you're gonna wanna refine it. I'm sort of in between that because um, I work so low for my own brand, um, but I, you know, I might go a little bit on the crazy side because I have so many ideas, so stay tuned. So when I'm gathering inspiration, I usually start out pulling things that I like and then see what goes together or doesn't go together in some cases, that's when things get really interesting. So, you know, combining two things that don't necessarily go together is what really helps create something new and innovative. So I'm gonna take you guys, as I search for my inspiration, looking through magazines, you know, maybe going on a walk and taking pictures. I like to maybe start with a color scheme. Um, so going to get some paint chips, seeing what colors go together and what I'm really liking and feeling for a season and also like swatching fabrics and you know I'm gonna also show you as I go through some magazine clippings and what I pick out and then how I'm organizing it on the board you know there really aren't any specific rules it's fashion so you can do what you want but just always keep in mind that you want to communicate something to your audience and you want that to be clear
more videos on the design process and mood boards, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos every Friday. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.